Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroRoots.com, and today I want to talk about what an Android backup is and <clears throat> how to actually perform an Android backup and how to backup and restore your uh, ROM. Now, this could be a custom ROM or this could be a stock ROM, like I am. I'm a 1% pure stock ROM, but I do have Clock with my recovery installed. Um, so do make sure you have Clock with my recovery or Team One Recovery Project um, installed onto your Galaxy S4. And this method will actually work on any type of Galaxy S4. Um, same steps, same method, as long as you have Clock with my recovery on your Galaxy S4. So it's us work on Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, um, US Cellular, um, International Octa-Core, um, um, Canadian version, you know, LTE, no LTE, it'll work. Um, so first thing we need to do is enter into recovery mode. So just go ahead and power off your phone. And like I mentioned earlier, make sure you have recovery on your uh, custom recovery on your Galaxy S4 um, to actually perform this. And this is highly recommended if you are planning on installing custom RAM. And the only probably the only reason why you install the custom recovery is because you want to install a custom RAM. So once your phone is powered off, you're gonna press the volume up, home center button, and uh, power button all at the same time. Once your phone vibrates, let go of the power button, but keep holding onto the volume up and home center button. So all three, vibration, let go of the power, and keep holding onto the two other buttons. And there you go. Give it a few seconds, and you will enter into recovery mode. And all right, you can let go once you see that blue thing. I was just making sure. So as you can see, mine is in the blue uh, normal one, but that's all right. Yours will probably show up blue, um, or you can show up like this if you saw my video of the OS, oh yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but anyway, let's go and try to do this. Let me focus that, sorry about that guys. Um, so first thing you do is go into backup and restore. Tap on that and do backup. Now if you have an external SD card, you can do advanced restore from, uh, or not restore, is backup. Uh, backup right there, backup to external SD card. If you do have an external micro SD card, uh, you can do that if you want. I recommend you doing that so it doesn't waste space on your internal um, Galaxy S4. Uh, but just for this video, I'm going to do backup, and that's going to back it up to the internal Galaxy S4 device. So just select that using the power button, and now it's going to be backing it up right there. Let me show you just what's happening right there. So this will take about a five to ten minutes just to back up everything, especially how big TouchWiz is. It's going to back it up. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes. Uh, so do be patient. Um, don't you know take out the battery and all that. Oh, it's not working. It's taking too long. Just be patient, and it should uh, finish. Um, but it shouldn't take like thirty minutes. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it shouldn't take like that long. But I will mention it uh, once I do come back after it's done uh, finishing. So I'll be right back after this um, finishes backing up. Actually, while it's actually backing up, um, I'm going to go and explain what an Android backup is and like what it does to your device. Um, so what an Android backup is, it basically rest um, it backs up your whole phone OS. So you, all the software, all the touch with, all your apps, all your settings, all your icons where it's displayed, everything, it's going to be the exact same uh, once you restore this. And now the only reason why you should actually back it up is if you're planning on installing a custom ROM or if there's a chance that you may ever, in any way, you might get um, stuck, uh, you might soft break your Galaxy S4 and you get stuck in a boot loop um, manner way. Um, so what a boot loop is, it just uh, keeps spinning around the Samsung logo uh, once you first do turn on your device. Um, so that's what it is. So it's highly recommended if you're planning on installing even one custom ROM um, just go and do a Nandroid backup. It doesn't hurt. You know, you can uh, back it up to your external SD card or even your internal SD card. And then just go ahead and transfer it to your uh, PC if you don't want it in your device so you can save some um, memory on your Galaxy S4. Um, you can e do it either way. So you can back it up to your phone and leave it there. Uh, tr back it up to your phone and then transfer it to your computer. Or just back it up to your S micro SD card and leave it there. Um, so either way, it's going to back it up and it's going to back up just about everything. Um, just keep in mind, it will not back up your music, um, movies, and photos. So all your personal things, and your media files and all that, it will not back it up. It's going to back up all your phone OS type stuff. So all your call logs, your email, um, all the apps that you have, all the text messages that you have, and the uh, general settings of your phone's OS, it's going to back it up. So while this finishes up, I'm going to go ahead and take a break, and I'll be back right after this. Alright, so it looks like it only took about 5 minutes to actually back up. Um, now I want to show you how to actually restore it, uh, just in case you get stuck in a boot loop, or if you just feel like restoring it. So go and tap on Restore, right there. Oh, sorry about that focus right there. 
Um, so just tap on restore on the second one right there. And if you actually restored it from your external SD card, tap on that one. So restore from external SD card. So we are uh, restored from the internal. So just go and select restore right there. Oh, right there. Select it. And there's the date right there. Um, is that the correct date? I believe that is correct date on um, 118. Um, so that should be the right date. You can change the date, uh, the folder name right there if you want. So you can get the correct date or the correct order. Just make sure you don't put any spaces in there. Select that and select yes to restore. And select yes to restore. And now it's going to be restoring it um, right there. So now it's only going to take about a couple minutes. I'm pretty sure this is faster than actually um, rest uh, restoring it. Or actually backing it up. Sorry about that. I'm um, backing it up. Um, but overall, it shouldn't take too long. And once this is done, I'm going to go and reboot it and show you that it actually worked. So I'll be right back. All right, so the uh, re restoring the actual ROM took about uh, 10 minutes. So depending on how much um, information you have on your device, um, it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, or actually, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you have. Um, I just had a lot of bloatware that came with T-Mobile's app. So that's why it took a, a little bit more than expected. Um, but just go ahead and choose Go Back. So go back. And then we're going to reboot system now right there. And now it's going to reboot your phone. And you should have the restored uh, stock ROM or whatever ROM you had. Um, when you first got it or when you last backed it up and you should be good to go. So uh, just give it a few seconds and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished rebooting. Let's go and uh, see if it worked. And yes, oh, yep, all my apps are in the exact same place. Even after, after the restore, um, everything is working. All my messages coming back up. So all the messages I didn't read that were in my notification before came up. Um, as you binary is out of date, so everything seems to be working just great. Um, everything exactly the same as I left it right before the actual backup and re uh, restoring the RAM. Um, so that is how you actually make a Nandroid backup, and, or how to install, how to actually backup any custom RAM or uh, even stock RAM, like in my case, um, on your Galaxy S4. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner, as it does really help me out a lot. I'm be uh, making a lot more videos, a um, lot more custom RAM videos. Um, Rooting videos, clock on my recovery for both Mac and Windows, and just reviews and app reviews just in general for any Android device. So be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It is all about Android all the time. Um, so you're probably going to enjoy this video and enjoy this whole YouTube channel in general. And if you do need to get in contact with me for whatever reason, you can go and uh, follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links are down below. And a more in-depth written step-by-step guide is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.